All right, Coach. Uh, first big step out of this year away, uh, regular season champs. Uh, what was that like to clinch that and uh, be able to celebrate that? Feels good. You know, these kids have worked their tails off. It's good. nice to see them get paid. Nice to see when you when you work your tail off to, and you earn something to get the ring in the end. You know, and that's what this is all about. It's about getting degrees and getting rings. And uh, these kids can feel good about it. You know, all the seniors are going to graduate, and now they get a ring on top of it. That's fantastic. Yeah, and celebrate, obviously, the ring, but you talked about a little bit the, the academic side of it. How good is that to see guys finish out their degrees and then you get to con come back and continue to play baseball? Well, really, that's, that's the number one goal. You know, this is college baseball. It's not baseball college. And these kids all think they're going to play in the big leagues, and, and good for them. But our job is to make sure that they get their degrees and now they can go out and, and instead of some job picking them when they're 27, 28, 29 years old, done playing pro ball, now they can pick their job. And that's just going to make them a better husband, better dad, better whatever, you know, better employee. Uh, that's really what they're here for is to get their degree. And you know, we've got, I think, 11 years in a row now where all of our seniors have graduated on time or in a position to do it in one more semester. And that's what I'd call getting it done. And that's really, you know, that's going to be our legacy here. To win it with the workhorse Ryan on the mound that night, um, kind of summarize the year that he's had and for him to go out and put out a stellar performance like that to give you guys a shot to win it, uh, what was that for you? Yeah, watching him grow over the last three years has is, is just been amazing. Right in front of our eyes, he's done it. You know, his freshman year, we gave him a lot of big innings, some of them he wasn't ready for, but that's what our, that's what our staff was. We were so young and so many freshmen. He got a lot of big innings, and then his sophomore year, we made him the Friday guy when he probably wasn't really ready for that either. Uh, if we would have had him go on Sundays, he'd have been seven and two uh, instead of two and seven. But those lessons he learned, uh, you know, there's no doubt that that's what's propelled him and helped him this year. And then you go into Nevada now, uh, looking to add add to that ring list uh, to win. The tournament championship, obviously it's an automatic berth, but what would that mean for, for you guys in the program this year? You know, the tournaments, it's really interesting. The last three years, the, the Mountain West Conference champion has not won the tournament. And uh, that's really interesting how much emphasis is put on one weekend uh, compared to a whole season's worth of work. Uh, but that's, that's what it is, and that's what it'll be again this year. And to play at Nevada against Nevada to start, um, is there a certain kind of toughness that comes with that, or are you thriving the, the moment? It, you know, it's hard to beat somebody four in a row in their own backyard. Uh, so they're going to be fired up for it. They'll be healthier than they were when we were there. And nobody likes to lose in their own backyard. So they'll be ready, and uh, I expect it's going to be a fantastic ball game. And you guys have been a fantastic road team all season. Is there something about being on the road with this team that, that they just thrive on? We, we made a real emphasis at the beginning that, you know, we know that the team that wins the Mountain West Conference almost every single year is the team with the best road league record. So we were into that from the beginning, and these guys took it to a little bit different level uh, with the three sweeps.